YouTube, YouTube, he's back. No, never give up, never give up, even if you don't feel like it, but that's where you have to find. Me, I found that overdrive now, and this is what I found. I think I found it. <laughs> anyway, I keep saying it, find that overdrive, find that overdrive, I think I found it. Good things comes to those who wait, great things comes to those who get off their ass and do anything to make it happen. Exact. No, it's not about the talent, it's not about the the money you have in your pocket. It's all it's it's all in how bad you want it. How bad do you want this thing to happen? You know, how bad do you want it? It's all in there. If you want it as bad as you want to breathe nothing can stop you because at this point when you want something that bad in your life when you want something that bad that you're willing to, to sacrifice at any time who you are for who, who you're gonna be there's a greater force attaching to you also that's called uh, I believe it's called you can call it the grand organizing design I think it's a good uh, or the source the source, may the source be with you. I've said it often. I think it's a, I think it's the source. I like to call it the source. Then. Yeah, the source, because that source is inside each and every one of us and just waiting to be manifested. It's just waiting to be manifested. Yeah, because we all have something great to bring here to, to do and if we get up our ass and do something with our life, we will create a change. We will create a change here, for sure. We must get up our ass. Stop being lazy. Stop being lazy with our life and with our... Uh... Yeah, we've been given life. We've been given... But again, there's many, many uh, people. Not everybody is chosen, I think. Many are called, few are chosen. Not everybody will do the things I do. I will not do everything other people do. Like, I do what I do. <laughs> this is what I do. But other people do other things, sings or uh, do some kind of heart or whatever. But I think we can all bring something into the this game of life if we give ourselves the chance to bring something we can all bring something but don't wait don't wait get off your ass and make it happen happiness cannot be traveled to own earn or worn it is the spiritual experience of living every minute with love grace and gratitude the experience of living with love grace and gratitude being grateful giving thanks for life giving thanks for life like it's not rocket science then. it's just to give thanks for life give thanks for life and don't take it light but often people will give will give thanks for life but in a light way not in a way that you will impact people's life or impact uh, your life or uh, you know you First of all, you want to impact your life enough to, to, to shake up the foundation and say, wake up, do something with me, because I have been given to you, you know? Yeah, happiness cannot be travel. Happiness is a state of mind. Also. Yeah, yeah, happiness is a state of mind. For sure, happiness is a state of mind. You can be happy or you can be miserable. It's all your, always your choice. Always your choice. You can worry about stuff or you can be worryless or you can have faith. You know, walk by faith. You know, also it's very, many people just walk by sight. Eh? When you start walking by faith, uh, Again, it's a different uh, ball game, huh? different vibration, different vibrancy of life. When 
you pay attention, you're paying attention, eh? Go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. If they can't see the real value of you, it's time for a new start. If they can't see the real value of you, it's time for a new start. Yeah. Don't be afraid to go for a new start. Sometimes it's very beneficial. Sometimes the roadblocks in your life are going to be there for uh, preventing you from going to roads you shouldn't be uh, there in the first place. So, roadblocks and uh, yeah, are very, very uh, beneficial. So go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. No, I don't feel the need to entertain people who doubt me <laughs> at all, at all, at all. I don't feel the need of entertaining people who doubt me. Anyway, me, I'm a very solitary uh, guy. and uh, I know in this journey I won't have too many friends. Eh? The speaker of truth has no friends, as an African proverb says. The speaker of truth has no friends starting to believe that starting to, to experience it first of all to experience it because I don't have many people other than uh, my friend Ivar my wife my, my children there's not too many people around me not too many people want to hear what I have to say for often I'm talking about stuff that people don't want to hear so you know, it's attacking their ego often when you tell them, first of all, about themselves. It's like, hey, well, how can you tell me about my... Like our our layers of ego sometimes is so thick, so thick the layers of ego that even if I tell you something that you are divine, you won't even freaking see it if you don't see it yourself. So that's why that every uh, journey to awakening is very... Uh, individual is very uh, unique is very unique I should say because my awakening might not be the same as another one I see the world my way yeah probably some other people see it my way too But we are all, we all have our own conscience. So the moment you start thinking for yourself and knowing that, you know, you shouldn't just repeat what they say and you should open your mind. Not really open your mind. It's maybe close your mind. It's maybe close your mind in some way. Maybe you're getting too much trash inside. In some way, it's maybe close your mind. You know, sometimes I, I I thought of it. I say open your mind, open your mind. But I think our minds are way too open to fantasy and shit like that. That it, maybe it would be better if we close our mind a little bit for a while. <laughs> close our mind and start a uh, reset the counter to zero. You know, I don't know makes sense don't be afraid to stand don't be afraid to stand for what you believe in even if that means standing alone for sure you better be standing alone than uh, being the crowd I prefer to do this here uh, do my things alone and then stand with the crowd and uh, be on the other side of the screen and uh, no 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 be in front of the TV screen, most of it. Not the... Uh, yeah, be in front of the TV, TV screen and be lobotomized. Eh? That's what it is. I, I, I experienced it, the lobotomization in front of the TV. That's another thing that... It's crazy, eh? Also, yesterday I went to the grocery store and I'm like... 
I see people buying their, their groceries, they buy so much scrap. So much poison. Everywhere. So, again, an unconsciousness has to kick in in many, many different aspects of our lives. Eh? But, I think it's possible to give ourselves the, the chance can bring about a change that's gonna last and with people that care for people you know that's what we need we just need people that care sharing is caring yeah. he's out